the whole story behind my daughter's name. It is just me today. I wanted to do a little sit down, girl chat, one on one talk and answer all of your questions that you guys have for me. So I don't wanna make this intro too long. I just wanna cut to the chase and get right into the question. So I asked you guys on my Instagram and uh, let's just get started. So first question, what is your height and what is Josh's height? So I know I've talked about our height a lot on TikTok. I never talked about it till we got called out. Like I would get comments like, oh my gosh, she's taller than him or like kind of like making fun of it. So I was like, I'm gonna beat them to the punch and just come out and be like, yeah, I'm taller than my husband. There's nothing wrong with it. And that's just kind of how it started. I'm 5'9", five, 5'9 nine, five, nine and a half. I feel like I actually grew during pregnancy, which is super weird, but I feel like I got taller somehow. And Josh is about 5'5 five, five and a half. We actually just measured him and he was like, I thought I was 5'8". I was like, no, you're like 5'5 five, five and a half, 5'6". We'll give him five six. Well, let's give him five six. So I'll say I'm five nine and a half, and Josh is five six. So we do have like a decent height difference, but it's like not too extreme. And who cares? Even if it was extreme, like in Josh refers to himself as a short king. Like it's just a joke. There's obviously like no harm against it. If he was ever offended by it, we would not use the term. So please don't come for me for calling him a short king. <laughs> At what age would you give Poppy screen time? So I was actually just talking to a girlfriend about this the other day. We were always like, she'll never see what a phone screen looks like. She'll never see what a TV looks like. And we, this is what we do. We work from her phone. So when she sees a phone, her little eyes light up and she goes after it. Not that she wants the screen. She just wants to put it in her mouth and like chew on it. Josh just started putting on the TV in the morning when he like goes downstairs and he puts Bluey on. It's like the mom. Dad, it's so cute. But she literally does not care about it. She has no interest in television whatsoever. Josh, I think, enjoys it. I think he likes all the kid shows and television shows, so he puts it on for himself, so don't let him fool you. She'll like listen to the song or like the intro and then be completely not interested whatsoever. Where are you from? So I'm from a small town in Ohio, Steubenville, Ohio. It is like a, this weird border of Ohio, Pennsylvania, and West Virginia. So my entire family is from West Virginia. So I just moved up to Pittsburgh because this is where Josh lives. And actually, Pittsburgh is like our city. A lot of people think when I say Ohio, they're like, oh, you're close to Cleveland. We're actually closer to Pittsburgh. That's where I'm from. How many kids do you guys want? So this is a tough one. So Josh has two siblings and I have one sibling. Um, I don't know if I'm just comfortable with two and that's just like all I know. But like for me, I'm like two sounds good. Josh is like three or four. So it just scares me that if we get blessed again to have another child and I am able to get pregnant again, that we're gonna have twins or something. And that scares me because at first I was like, I want twins because my mom's a twin. My grandma was a twin. Like. A lot of twins in our family. So I was like, I want twins. Twin moms or any type of like more than one baby moms. I don't even know what the correct term is. You guys are superstars and rock stars because I do not know how you do it. Watch me. I, oh my God, did I just jinx myself? Am I going to have twins? Which I'll be happy if I have twins, but it'll be, it would be a lot of work. What is your form of birth control? None. We do not use birth control. But after having Poppy, I didn't want to get back on a pill. Just, I just didn't want anything in my body if it wasn't needed. I was just like, things are working for me. So I just didn't want to get put back on something. So I think my birth control days are over. So, because I want another baby. How do you get over the stigma and opinions that men should be taller? Well, to be 100% honest with you guys, it was a little hard for me in the beginning. When we first went on our first date. It was amazing, but I did go home, and I hate that I did this, but I did go home, and literally I, I Googled celebrities where the woman is taller than the man. And it's so crazy to think, because there's actually a lot of women that are taller than their significant others. I just personally have never experienced it. And then Josh, who, okay, a little bit shorter than me, but his personality was amazing. He made me laugh. He was treating me like a queen, and I was, like, literally, the I felt like, the only 
woman in the world when I was with Josh. So yeah, I would just say ignore the opinions, um, be confident in who you are, in your relationship, and as long as you guys are both happy with each other, that is all that matters. Are you guys trying for baby number two? So we are not not trying, if that makes sense. Um, uh, we're not really doing any type of birth control method. I personally want my kids close in age. So we said maybe between May and August, we'll like really actively, actively push to try. But if it happens right now, it's not like it wasn't planned, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. I don't know. I'm just really excited. <laughs> Do you have a scar from your C-section? Yes. It's literally like this big, no joke. It is the tiniest thing ever. I'm like, how did they pull a baby out of this? But it looks perfect. It healed really, really nice. It's very minimal, just like a little line. Um, it's not red anymore. I hope to do a vaginal birth with this next one, but if a C-section has to happen, um, I'm totally fine with whatever. All right, this might be a controversial type of question, but are you doing purees or baby lead weaning? I had the full mindset of doing baby lead weaning, um, but it just didn't work for me. Just something I don't wanna do. I don't wanna get too into it. I'm not a professional. I don't know the facts of either side. Um, I just personally, it's not for me. I tried it and just not for our family. We do purees, we make our own food. It just doesn't work for us and that is okay. Okay, so this is just part one of our sit down chat. I can do many more of these, um, but I thought I would end on this question. It is the question that everyone is dying to know the answer to and um, cannot believe that it got to this point, but here we are. Last question. Is her real name Poppy or Poot? A lot of people wanna know this answer. Poppy or Poot? What is her name? <sighs> All right, so here is the whole story behind my daughter's name. So we had her on May 11th and we made a whole video on YouTube. We did this huge announcement. You guys were so excited. We were so excited to share this time with you. We announced her name and we were flooded with people saying how much they hated her name. They hated the name Poppy. They were like, this is the worst name ever. Why would you name her this? They thought this was the craziest name ever, but it's not like an unusual name. It's not like this random crazy name that I made up or came up with. Poppy James Herbert. Poppy James. James is a very trendy middle name right now, but her name has meaning. It's not just two random names. It has history to our family. How did we get the name Poppy? My grandfather, who we call Poppy. <laughs> That's it, James. That is Josh's grandfather's name. That is how we came up with Poppy James. She's named after both of her grandfathers. So I made this TikTok saying like, I picked her name out for nine months and I call her this. And it was like a trend, it was a sound. And I said, I picked her name for nine months and now we call her Poot. And it was like this quick little picture and her name Poot. It went viral, I guess you wanna say viral on TikTok and the comments were brutal. They were so mean. They were like, oh my gosh, they thought her name was Poot. Like I really named her Poot. The video I said was a nickname. Her nickname is Poot. We've always called her Poot. I don't know why. And the comments were so brutal and so mean. I was like, let me troll the trolls. Because a lot of the people that were commenting this mean, mean stuff didn't follow me. They just saw this video on their For You page and just thought the need to tell me how terrible the name Poot was. So I was like, mm, I'm gonna troll the trolls, her name's Poot. And that is how this all started. So we do call her Poot, like we literally call her Poot more than Poppy. At least my family does, my mom loves calling her Poot. So now I'm just rolling with it. Her name is Poppy Poot James Herbert. <laughs> Legally, her name is Poppy James Herbert, but we call her Poot James Herbert. And that is the truth and the story about her name. Whew, okay. Got it out, it's all out there now. And what's funny is, I'll still call her Poot on TikTok and those people aren't gonna take the time to watch this video, so um, yeah, you guys will know. The ones watching this will know her real true name. <sighs> Alrighty, well, that was fun. I can already hear Poppy making noise. She's waking up from her nap. Um, let me know if you guys want me to do more little chit chats, girl chats, anything you guys wanna know in the comments um, below, comment below. Make sure you give us a thumbs up, subscribe. It truly helps us. And I can't thank you guys enough. We love you so much and I will see you guys next week. Bye.
Eh. You hear her crying. Eh. Oh my god. I gotta cry. <laughs>